Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Shini. In this lecture, we are going to look into how to handle an HTTP error globally using an HTTP interceptor. In the previous video, I have shown you how to intercept an HTTP request and add a property to an header for an outgoing request. Now, the same way, we can harness the power of interceptors to report any error in HTTP request across the application. So let's jump right in. For this tutorial, I make, I'm making use of uh, my very own uh, Angular boilerplate, which is right in the uh, GitHub. You can you can have a look at it. I'm going to clone this code base into our tutorial here and then making use of it. So that way it will be easier to follow. Uh, I'll make a separate video about uh, the folder structures for uh, this um, boilerplate so that it'll have uh, it'll house all the core shared modules and modules also the config for your application so if you go into the core you will have all the components and services uh, that will act as a core and it's it, i think it's too much for this uh, tutorial for now so i will just jump straight into the uh, http interceptor concepts all right i'm just going to close this okay so what are we going to do we're going to do a git clone clone that into a folder called global http error handling okay so things are it's cloning up and it's done now we just need to go to the global http error handling and do an npm install fire up the application and it's showing up in the browser successfully and the dashboard and reports are two modules so everything uh, what i did is i dissected everything into modules so the boilerplate consists of uh, app and it has a core and some components like uh, master footer whatever that that is core to the application which uh, will be which will be throughout the application will be inside the core components and same way for services i do have auth service and http service and test service this is the one that we're going to work on um, so basically it's having a fetch method uh, which will call upon the json type code placeholder it contains a list of posts so now we're going to display this post into our dashboard module right here uh, i'll make a separate video on uh, how this folder structure is defined and dissected uh, so that you can follow that and make use of this boilerplate in your upcoming applications right so let's jump into the dashboard component so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a button called button it's a bootstrap bootstrap button so it'll be button dot btn and btn primary okay so it will be having a click event um that says fetch or get data get some data right so this is pretty much about the button now we need to also display the, the list whatever that is being fetched so what we're going to do is we just go to the TypeScript class and then do some modifications over there. So what I'm going to have is I will have subscription subscription, right? So I have a field in a field in a class called subscription and I do have will have another field called items which will hold any responses from the JSON type code. And obviously we need to have a service that hits the HTTP. So HTTP test service and obviously it's a test service hang on a minute i just added this in the ng on it which is very very wrong all right so in our on in it i just gave a console log to just uh, show you just console uh, when, whenever the dashboard component is loaded that's for the sake of modularity testing so i believe we don't need that well after that's done we need to create a method called get data and this dot subscription equals this dot test service dot fetch. Now I was talking to you about the fetch, right? So that's nothing but this one. It'll call up call up this fetch in the test service. Okay, so let's do a subscription here. And I data. So that will be a fat arrow this time, and this dot items equals data. So all your data will be hold inside items. All right, so no more error looks like it's working. Let's get some data and watch the network. Does it have a response? Let me just track this up here. Yeah, it does have some sort of a response. Now we're gonna just paint those response inside our dashboard. So UL, and I do have a class called list group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iterate over this ng4 and let item of items 
Well, I do have uh, some piece of code left over here so that I'm just going to copy paste it to rush things in. So list group item and then we're going to list all the title, right? The title over here so it will be iterated and then be listing in our page. So let's just check that out. Yes, it's working. So let's move on to intercepting. Now, the idea is to show up an error in a pop-up. So let's cover the pop-up dialog box method later. Now let us just focus on catching an error globally. So uh, if there is an error on, on this statement, on this call, it will show up error across the application, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a TypeScript file called over here called HTTP error interceptor inside this HTTP interceptors, right? So it will have a list of um, interceptors you can put in and then hook hook that up into this index ts right so let's create a file called http from error dot interceptor dot ts now um, we need a decorator called injectable export class http error interceptor implements interceptor so i'm going to just import that manually first off injectable from angular core and next off is I'm just going to do a and dot no it's not working so I'm going to just manually add the interceptor angular common HTTP I guess um, yeah it's HTTP right okay so what does it say that's a squiggly lines which means we missed something um, subject to blah, blah, blah. it's an interface so it should have it should have it should have an intercept yes right so intercept like we've seen in the scene in the previous video it should have an intercept and the intercept takes up two arguments called uh, request which is a type of uh, HTTP request of any and next which is of type HTTP handler all right so everything goes inside an intercept method and obviously we need to return that as an observable or throw that up so it should be next dot handle which is our request we need to pipe that request okay what are we, why are we doing the piping method because uh, using a pipe we can watch our request and then catch any error in in the ongoing request okay so it should be catcher catcher is uh, from a rxjs standpoint uh, operator method let's see if that works no 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 it's not working so catch you need to ma manually add that right import catch error and that's from rx js operators right we also need uh, one more method from rx js it's called throw error from rx js okay so catch error that will give us an error object so we're going to make use of that error object so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just create error message and it's just a string we're going to console that error okay so and obviously we're going to return throw error saying invalid http request please try again okay later or no network okay so now we have created a, an interceptor for uh, capturing an http error now let's just check it out and it just uh, shows up an invalid request so this http error interceptor is not implemented or not used in our application so we need to make use of them we need to hook that up into a provider so that it will observe and listen to, to the outgoing request so to do that we need to go to index.ts which is um, inside the http interceptor and we need to add that interceptor uh, to the index file so we do that by adding a adding http interceptor and also including that over here so once that's done the squiggly lines disappear which says that the the http error interceptor has been added and now let's check that out so the error throws up from this console log over here which you can see right over here so uh, we have successfully tested we have successfully captured outgoing error request that is that has failed now what we need to do is um, we need to make use of a model dialog box and show that inside a model box but before that we can also um, come up with I mean this is pretty much enough what we're gonna do is um, somewhere here add a or call call an error service okay so this is it this is how an HTTP error is handled globally using interceptor and catch error operator that you see here okay now we need to create an HTTP error service 
um, that needs to be inside our core directory okay for that what we're going to do is i'm going to bring up the terminal and nggs should be inside the core services let me just double verify that should be inside core services and yes it should be http error okay so the http error service has been created now let's open that up and do some modifications now inside the http error service what we need is we need a method show error and that show error will be accepting string let's do a console for now which will which will just show up the errors now back in the interceptor we need to uh, add this method so let's open up a constructor and private that http error service which is of course http error service right so so we're going to make use of a newly created http error service and I'm gonna call the service over here so that should be this dot http error service dot show error obviously the error that we have consoled now back in the browser let's go ahead and test if no error is thrown okay so looks like it works in the http error service okay so we are good to go and add a bootstrap model for that now create a model pop-up now again we need to open up the terminal and check where the folders are set up now close this model it should be inside a shared and pop-up that's a best practice that's what as far as i'm concerned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create nggc shared pop-ups right the yeah, pop-ups and then alert pop-up so that should be our component to show up as a model box now once that's done it should be dropped right here it's working and let's go ahead and check our shared module right in our shared module um, in the declaration we need to have alert component it's right there and we need to export that as well so it should be alert pop-up so whatever is in the shared module uh, components that are inside the shared module should be exposed to the outside world so alert pop-up component has been exposed that's a good deal let's close that up and let's uh, go back to alerts pop-up component html so this one and i have a ready-made code for that so that'll be i mean i took straight out of um ng bootstrap so nothing fancy here just one bit has been added inside the model body i added error message so nothing uh, i mean nothing complicated in the alert pop-up component okay so you can go go ahead and also add i mean modify certain bits over here so whenever an alert mess pop-up message is opened up in ng bootstrap you need to supply an input um, property for that input decorator with error message and in the constructor should also have active model so all is done and this is how the code looks i'm going to just close this and yes this is where we are going to call our model pop-up in the http service um, we need to call this i'm going to just comment that out let's have a constant model ref equals ah uh, we need a constructor define the field in a class for our model so it should be private underscore ngb model ngb model so once that's done it's added in our class now we're going to make use of a model component as a model so this will be this dot ngb model dot open underscore ngb model dot open and alert pop-up component which is showing right up here that's a great news and component instance dot error message do you remember that we have created an error message input property yeah that's the one uh, we are making use of it okay i believe this will not work because there are much more things needs to be added in order to make this alert pop-up component to work what is that that we are missing okay let's focus our attention to the app module so this one says module ng module entry component it's not there no component factory found for alert component right so angular is spitting out some error um, that points us to entry component let's go to the app module and in the entry component things are absent now i'm going to just add alert pop component in our entry component and we also need to add uh, we missed something in the provider which is http error service see it's working so this is it now 
This is how you make use of an HTTP interceptor and catch any HTTP error globally. And from HTTP interceptor, you can call up a service which will show up a model dialog box like this. So if you're, if you're having a large application, you cannot just go ahead and write this catch method everywhere. So HTTP interceptor makes use of this and you can just write in one single place. I hope this tutorial is very useful. Please do write your suggestions in the comments below and do share with your friends. If you are a new user, please subscribe. Every subscription, likes and comments really motivates me to make more such videos. Thank you and have a great day.